I'm Kate with CrateInsider.com, and I'm here today with Buck Parker from Daytona One. Um, if you've seen, you know, many of our many of our videos, you know we sell a lot of Daytona One. He makes some excellent products. This man is in the NASA Technology Hall of Fame. But uh, today, uh, Buck, tell us what we have in front of us here. Well, what we have is a machine that we use to uh, to test lubricants. Um, see the the sure stability of it see you know how much it's going to protect sometimes and you know, there's a lot of different things we can use this machine for but today i'm going to show you uh how a uh, additive package can truly work how it can become part of the metal how that how it, how our engine treatment really protects the metal so uh without any further ado let me let me tell you just a little bit about this, this is a Timken bearing machine now basically what we have is a, a Timken bearing uh, a bath basically for the oil and then we'll have another bearing that will we'll, we'll run against that and the only thing that's protecting it would be the, the lubricant of the oil so as we go out I'll, 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 I'll work, work, work through here um, so that's our bath that's the bath <laughs> and uh, we use mobile one because it's a good quality oil and uh, and as we go I'll tell you just a little bit about it and then we well, the reason we want to use mobile one, we, we want to show you that we can not only can we uh, not only can we make a, a good oil better, we can make a not so good oil better. So, uh, but this is a great oil. We don't we don't knock anybody's motor oil. What I will show you is, it, it, as you can see on the, the spinning bearing, uh, you can see that it's sort of when it's riding sort of high the way it is. That, that that's good and bad. Uh, but, but that's also, that's parasitic drag. So the more that, 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 that it sticks and hold on, holds on to a bearing, that causes a, a certain amount of parasitic drag. But we won't go that way. I'll talk to you about that when it comes to our, our gear loops. Okay, when great. When we design our gear loops. So right now, I just want to show you the, 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 how, how an additive package can work and how we can make an oil better. So I'm gonna put, this is a, a bearing. Basically, you can see this. No, no issues on it. We turn it to a clean surface, and uh, in this case, we're going to use a a, a, a digital uh, torque wrench. And uh, and I'm going to let Kate. I want you to just sort of put your fingers on and, and pull it that direction. Okay. You'll, you'll get a feel for it. All right. Okay. And I don't want you to do that yet. Okay. But, but when we, once we start, let me let me clear this. It's clear, and then uh, now, now just just put a little pressure on it, put a little bit more. Just pull it until it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about ready to bring a second hand in here. You're fine. Oh my gosh, I'm making squeaky noises. Well, that's what. Have it, pull a little bit more. All right now, then you push the brake. That's good. Okay. All right. Now, as it stands, we put 20 pounds of torque. Is how much torque did you put on that the machine at that time? All right, so let me... And I'm guessing that squeaking was bad. <laughs> squeaking, squeaking is never good. Okay. <laughs> uh, but as you can see, how we cut a hole oh, in the gosh. bearing. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, we need to bring this closer to the camera and... and I don't know if you can see. see how it's cut, but the bearing is basically cut a hole in the bearing. And... Uh, if you can, if you can show it, but but if if not, we'll we'll take the bearing out shortly, and then now what we're going to do is take this and turn it slightly, just right next to where the that cut place is, and tighten it back up. So we've got a clean surface. Clean now. surface there. Now what we don't have is a clean surface here, and and it's real jagged. And you'll hear it when we turn it back on. Now, the the engine treatment is a hundred percent additive package. The Daytona One XL1 engine treatments, 100% added package. So if you use this, never use it like a motor oil because it's not. Right. 100% added. Now we're going to use more than we would probably use it because this this is going to be an accelerated test. I didn't need that much. And well, we got to take the towel right uh, that's here. okay. No, it's good. It's good. Okay. Uh, I made a little bit of a mess. But now what what I want to it takes heat and friction. I'm not used to this this little machine here. It takes heat and friction for 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 the product to actually impregnate and, and become part of the metal. So we're going to turn this to zero. Okay. Turn it on. Just, just put a little bit of pressure on it. Right now. Just put a little pressure on it. Because it, it basically it's working. Alright, now put just a little bit more. Okay. And a little 
Come on. Now, come on. Who's trying? Right. <laughs> right now, you've got 22, you got three or four, three or four more pounds of pressure left. Just a little bit more. That's, that's good. Okay, so you got, according to this, you got 28 pounds of pressure. Wow. All right, and it's still running good on a bad bearing. Now, and it didn't make any of those squeaky well, noises. It wasn't scary. And if, uh, it's hard to tell, but see, it didn't cut into the bearing. No, it didn't. Not at all. It, it, I mean, we it, can see the cut part from our what we did mm -hmm. previously, but we didn't um, actually you see a mark cut the, into that bearing. It just ran on it, but but it didn't cut into the bearing. Now, what I want to show you is when, when we say it becomes part of the metal, I've got something else to show you, though. Okay. The uh, I'm going to put it back on. And... Uh, and see if we can't put this back in the process. Now, okay, I want you to put pressure back on it again. I'm going to reset this. All right, now put pressure on it. All right, come on. All right, right there, you got 23 pounds. That was more pressure than, than you had on it when it cut into the bearing. Right. Now, as a rule, you wouldn't take the oil pressure and take it away from any bearing or any motor. But when you do, you know, you say well, that's sure death for an engine or something along those lines. Oh, wow. But that, what's really neat about it, when we tell people that, that we impregnate the metal, we become part of the metal, even if you lost oil pressure, you wouldn't have a little bitty man go up there and, and, and wipe your bearing dry, would you? No. So now you're running strictly on metal to metal. And, and how many torques do I have? And you have 23 pounds of torque on it right now. That's more than you had on the start of it. Wow. The protection that, that we, we give any piece of equipment is is superior to what we feel anything on the market. And our and this bearing looks perfectly fine just like it did before. It's it's not it, it, and it's not etched, it's not it's not torn away. It's it's perfectly fine. That's amazing. That's like 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 your oil dumping out of your engine and it's and you're not gonna we hope that it never happens well yeah of course we don't but, want that to but, happen but it does what happens when you reduce friction you reduce wear you reduce heat and uh if you use this product inside an engine there's no reason to ever wear out a bearing there's no reason to ever wear out a cam mm -hmm. so uh now i'm not going to tell you that some of your boys out, out there aren't going to rev it up and break something too it high happens. but but mm -hmm. having that said you're not going to wear it out if as long as you use this product Fantastic, and and of course, you know, this, we've been a big fan of Daytona One, the XL One engine treatment. We include it in our oil change packages. Uh, we, you know, we have a couple different oil change packages, but one of them has it in it. Um, for the, I mean, I knew it was great, but wow, I've never seen this experiment before, so this is really exciting. Well, we appreciate you taking the time, and appreciate everybody trying the products. And if there's ever any questions, give me a call. Thanks Absolutely, so thank you. Appreciate it, honey. Thanks. Appreciate it.